Just over a week ago, we actually got our second group of whooping cranes, the 2011 uh, cohort, and this time we got 16 birds, seven males and nine females, and they arrived um, late in the afternoon. And actually what was neat really about, about this year is we had two Fish and Wildlife Service planes that brought them down, and the planes were equipped with floats, so they actually landed on the water um, in the Intercoastal Canal and just taxied around, and we transferred the birds onto boats to take them all the way out to the pen. Birds generally do well being shipped, but when we get them here, we just want to make sure everybody looks good, that they're not too stressed, that they haven't somehow injured themselves. So our veterinarian, Dr. Jim LaCour, um, gives every bird a quick exam after we pull them out of the box before we put them in the pen just to make sure that they're okay and all of them were, were just fine. Of the first group of 10, um, unfortunately only three have survived so far. Um, survival had been good through early fall with seven birds surviving and then we had um, an incident where a group of three birds uh, were together in a rice field and two of the birds were shot and killed and the third bird disappeared at the same time. Um, and so that quickly brought us down um, to only four survivors and then we did have another bird that was killed probably by a predator um, after that. What's next is we will continue monitoring and caring for the, the new group of whooping cranes. It's after another week or two, then we'll be looking to release them into the open pen. Um, again, we provide food in the open pen, um, but the birds are free to come and go at that point. We will encourage them initially to still spend some time in the open pen as they learn how to be a wild bird. Um, once these birds are out on their own, as they spread out, then we'll spend a lot of time tracking down where they are. This project is an experiment where we're learning as we go, um, and we learned a lot from the first group, and I think we'll continue learning from the second group. With 16 new birds out there in a couple months, that'll, that'll keep us pretty busy.